Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Yan. I listen to the beat songs, comeback songs, and songs I never heard of for the first time with you all. I like to dance to K-pop and J-pop, so check out this channel here to check out my projects. I like to exercise in that way. I'm also learning how to vlog and learn Japanese at the same time, so I have Japanese monthly vlogs. If you are interested, please check it out. It is here and I'm just learning. Lastly, I have another channel called Yang Can Sorta Cook, where I show my baking, cooking skills, I guess. Um, a lot of work in progress but also what I eat in a day sharing fruits and snacks and drinks with you all so if you want to check it out it is over there these are all my hobbies I still have lots to learn as it's just things I enjoy doing but thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel I apologize today is a very pollen day for me lots of allergies I hope if you have allergies you're hanging in there and if you don't please understand that allergies are difficult for me anyways we're listening to a comeback by AT super excited millions of views and I've been like swiping away from the TikTok challenges and stuff just because I haven't heard it yet I want to watch the whole thing first before I you know, get into the details and learn more about the choreo and all that. But the name of the song is very interesting. It's called Bouncy K Hot Chili Peppers. So it seems like it's going to be very intense and hyper, but also a little spicy, if not a huge kick with the chili peppers. K Hot, I think, playing around with the word K pop. But, anyways, I'm very excited to see because it seems like it's a new chapter or a new content in some ways. But, um, but I've always liked ATs, um, for many years now. So I'm always interested by the interesting themes that they make and create. So for new viewers, I watch the whole thing first before I talk about it um, and I guess react so to speak. So yeah, that's how I do my videos. Let's check out their comeback song right now. If I do sniffle, please pardon me, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Right now, the screen is like not widescreen. I wonder if that's intentional. I don't... Uh. I think the other intros, you know, to their company wasn't like that. But anyways, let's just get on to it. ATs is bouncy K hot chili peppers. That's a long name. Already epic.
Modern Beatle Bada Bra Beat'em on it For your Slow it down like a posse Chicken with the pie Jump down a spicy Chongyang go to buy If you wanna know how I can show you right now We are top bounce bounce And we don't fly fly Oh, there's more? Okay, okay. Talk later. Outlaw. Okay, episode two. It seems like they're outcasts in some ways. We bounced a lot. The cameraman definitely bounced a lot. The editing and of course the boys too. Let's go back to the beginning and listen to my ridiculous theme and ideas. <laughs> okay, no wonder there's so many views. Um, first of all, the settings, the scenes, the um editing and all of that camera work like it definitely did an amazing job above and beyond so we were in the story mode we were in very intense and emotional roller coaster ride and so i'm really glad that they were able to spend a lot of time and money into all of this work and making ats is like mvs always amazing and just refreshing even though we're in the dark side so my theory is that they are kind of like doing, I guess, underground things to get money in order to get the rarest chili pepper. Yep, that's my thesis statement. <laughs> um, anyways, that's kind of the thing that I got as to what they're saying. I don't know. So I will check the lyrics, the translated version to get a, a better idea. But right now, I'm going for it that way. So everyone has like a different job or thing. And... They all looked really cool, love the facial expressions. Um, here we are usually dancing in this area, outlaw customs, so it seems like they were banished or kicked out or isolated from the norm, so to speak, and they are here trying to get money to get the hottest chili pepper. And so we are um, in the ring, I guess, rink, ring, um, and San is like fighting to get money. We also have other members like Yo Sang, I guess, so to speak. They're like doing illegal, what do you call it, drifting, I guess. Um, I'm just making this up kind of, but they're just, you know, doing a lot of things that are kind of hidden, you know, out in the open or it's usually at night or in the dark. I love the fighting scenes just because I love the camera work, zooming in and out, different angles, and just the acting is phenomenal. We can really feel the pain, even though um, I think they're okay overall. But definitely, they worked out the muscles to show the strength. We also have Mingi um, killing a lot of people. I guess he had a mission. It reminded me of the Mandalorian for some strange reason. Maybe just like carrying stuff and walking into a bar and then shooting. <laughs> um, the, the Mandalorian is a little different. But anyway, so that's the vibe I've got. For here, um, they are like fixing the cars and getting things ready and the main leader is also kind of in charge. I've seen the choreo of the chorus part where they go like roll body roll like three times super powerful but just seeing it in the MV makes a lot more sense. I love like the creepy smile that they give out and just like the darker concepts going on here. Love the parrot, great member, additional member into this group right here. and. There's just a lot of drama, a lot of things happening. We don't know why Mingi just uh, killed a bunch of people, um, maybe again for money or for the chili pepper. Um, but anyways, we just see them looking really cool. So more rat, my bias is rapping. For those who don't know 80s as well, he was supposed to be one of the rappers, but then um, things changed and he became like a side vocalist, I guess. Not the main, but you know, a vocalist. But now he's able to have the chance to rap more. Man, I'm glad they let that happen anyways quitting is not an option get in the ring and the champs the champ is here okay 
at first I was like, what is it saying? There's a lot of sun heads here. Um, and so it's just very intense and love the actions, acting, and just the powerful choreo. Love the spitting of water and just like the... Um, intensity of this MV and then we were at like the um gorgeous like I don't even know where we are with the huge contrast with dark um sneaky violence versus here bright light spacious and just um very very pretty <laughs> um but anyways I don't know why there's that contrast but we usually stayed in the dark um we shot through the glass with the chili peppers and then he got the chili pepper in the pepper there was a they were growing chili peppers with an ammo inside so then it can shoot into the rare chili pepper container anyways then they celebrated they got enough money i guess to grow the chili pepper to get the ultimate chili pepper and then we were dancing nonstop the whole time, like, until they, you know, destroyed the whole thing. Like, I think the point is to get the chili pepper, run away, destroy that town, and leave, and, like, as if nothing happened. And so, here, I think this is Mingi, where he just kind of walks away. I don't know what that says, um, but he walks away with his logo, as in, like, I was here kind of a thing, even though he was wanted. So, I'm not really sure, because... A lot of stuff happens so i'm curious to see what they have to say you know their interviews um but also share your thoughts below too it was really fun we were great um we were able to see everybody Yunho, not as much i feel maybe just a few shots here and there um but again with so many members and sometimes there's like a main character right in the mv so we see one member but more than the other throughout the songs that they have and that's fine too but very intense very happy to watch and listen to this. Continue to support ATs and enjoy Bouncy K Hot Chili Peppers many more times. Thank you so much and I will see you in another video.